members of the platform, parents, guests, and my fellow seagulls. Woo. Four years ago, I left Salisbury University for a purely athletic ambition. I believe Joni Mitchell put it best, you don't know what you got until it's gone. I transferred back to Salisbury after only one semester away for the people and the culture that we have here. I transferred back to Salisbury for the beginning of my sophomore year, and coming back to SU was the best decision I ever made, and my life has never been and will never be the same. What is it about this place that changed my life? My classes, my majors, my assignments? Nah, that wasn't it. It was the culture at Salisbury that changed my life. And I can sum up this culture in two words. Miss Barbara. Never again in our lives would we go to breakfast at 8 in the morning on a weekday and be greeted by, Hello, my babies. Oh, I love you. I love you. I love you. Trust me, this place is special. Parents, grandparents, friends and family, when you talk to your SU graduate today, do not ask, what did you study? What did you major or minor in? Or what are you going to do now? I know you must be tired of asking, and we are tired of answering those questions. Instead ask, what did you do here? Who did you meet? How did they change you for the better? What did you see here? How did it influence your life? And whose life did you influence? With these questions, you will find out who your SU graduate stayed up with until four in the morning, talking with, laughing with, or crying with. And it is these experiences that we learn from and that we will never forget. We have something very special going on here at Salisbury. We have students, professors, administrators, and staff members who understand the value and importance of life's experiences and the uniqueness of the individual. If you ask me what I have learned from SU, it is that the Catholic campus ministry knows how to break it down just as good as the Atheist Society. We have the Adventurous Outdoor Club, and we have the Card Playing Club. We have a Quidditch club, and we have a club lacrosse team. We have a vegetarian club, and we have a grill club. <laughs> we have a club dedicated to the future captains of industry. And we have a club dedicated to just talking about history. What I've learned from these clubs and the people here at Salisbury is that at the end of the day, we are all seagulls. I learned from working with college Democrats, Republicans, and Pace that the differences that divide us are no match for the challenges that demand our unity. We have a culture here at Salisbury that embraces everyone. I went to Ash Wednesday services in the Great Hall a few months ago, and on my way back to my car, I passed by the SGA Don't Hate campaign. I stopped in just for a bit, but I ended up staying the whole time. Walking away from the Ash Wednesday services, pondering my own faith, I found myself walking into a room of atheists expressing their beliefs, their faith, and how they feel persecuted and hated. Only at Salisbury University is this conversation being had among educated and passionate people. This world is ever diverse and ever changing. We seagulls have the power to lead that change. We have too much learning, acceptance, and coexistence on this campus to allow it to stop here on this day as we receive our diplomas. It is our responsibility as products and facilitators of this incredible culture to continue to live our lives as seagulls. Never stop listening to others different from you. Never start hating. Never stop staying up late just to talk with a friend Never forget the unique culture we have here at Salisbury. As I compel you to take this culture that exists on our campus and spread it to the world you encounter from this point on, 
I will leave you with a quote I found scratched on the walls of a coffee shop from the Talmud. Do not be daunted by the enormity of the world's grief. You are not obligated to complete the work. But neither are you free to abandon it. We alone cannot save the world from an energy crisis, stop tsunamis from devastation, provide jobs for all the jobless, or food for all the hungry. But we can live our lives every day with those less fortunate in mind and those different in consideration. And perhaps by our thoughts, our ideas, and our actions, one person, just one person, will have lived their life better because of the way we lived ours. This is what I've learned at Salisbury University. Thank you for flying with me as seagulls for these past four years. And as you continue this journey of life after college, never forget where it is you started from. Thank you, Salisbury, for changing my life. And thank you all for listening.